What's going on everyone? Boss here again. This time we're here for Konosuba Season 3 Episode 4. Uh, last time we had Kazuma in the uh, the palace with uh, Princess Iris. Uh, she kidnapped him. <laughs> and But they became friends and Kazuma enjoyed the life there. So he was all good with staying there as long as he needed to stay. Of course, but Aqua, um, Darkness, and Megamine came and ruined all his fun, <laughs> as usual. Um, trying to come collect him, and right when they were having a banquet to send him home, he uh, he came up with this idea of catching this thief that's around the area. So, um, in order to stay there, because you know he liked the treatment, and then uh, Iris was calling him Big Brother, which he wanted, uh, <laughs> but. That plan didn't work out too well because now he has to just stay in random nobles' houses uh, until they catch the thief. Well, not random, but all the ones that are sus and this Robin Hood type thief would come and attack them or, and steal from them. So, you know, <laughs> that's the situation. In. And um, he's, he's going to be with the, the first, at least the first one. I don't know if he's going to be the only one, but he's going to be with the guy from um, season two that he's kind of been bump, bumping heads with. So we'll see how... The shenanigans carry on in this episode, of course they are, and uh, we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's jump to this episode of Konosuba. Oh yeah? Leave him alone! Oh yeah, he's a troublemaker. The demented little wizard. <laughs> oh yeah. Leering at darkness. Oh yeah, the biggest guest room. Yeah, making themselves at home. <laughs> yeah, into the intro. They're <laughs> doing patrols. Is that a see-through? I'm going to use this room, this guy. Yo, this deviant man. Sexual harassment is not a part of a maid's job, no. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh no! Hey, darkness hit the target! Ah! The room is sealed! <laughs> Why you look so sad? Yo, Cosmo's sad too. <laughs> He's getting embarrassed. Yo, they are leading into this. Yeah. From Comba. Date? Nah. She's gonna blow something up. Nah. Yeah, there's an explosion. Mm hmm. There we go. Yo! <laughs> That's wild, bro. You made a volcano. This is alcoholic. Yo, oh my goodness. Yo, she getting the mage drunk too? And they're just blowing stuff up, okay. <laughs> Terrifying the, the, the populace. They're making themselves too much at home. Okay, he's about to find something now. Oh, Chris, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, got her. Yo, the jelly, the pudding. What is this sound effect? Yeah, restraining the trespasser. That's what they had to put in. Okay, what's the situation? Do you have the mallet too? Yeah, he doesn't be accomplice. Yo, 
Oh yeah? Yo, this guy. Yo. He's lying. Yo, while he's tied up, she's gonna tell him foolishness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. She broke a bunch of stuff in his room. Oh my goodness. He's he's fools. <laughs> what are you doing? Yo, she's crazy. She's the dumb now. No, he's like, get out of his place now. Dang, you subject to all this now. Oh, she's nice, at least. I yeah, know, yeah, Michael's the local booze seller. Dang, it ain't her gift. Oh, name. Ah, I forgot about him. <laughs> Misurugi. <laughs> Wow, we're not close enough for me to say the rest of your name. I forgot his name too. A ring. Ikemen. Oh yeah, just angry. Chris is here to explain, to make you all accomplice. Close, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, yeah. Intruder! <laughs> Yo, he's groping her again? Oh my goodness. Yeah, wrote for a booty call. You don't want to be in the trouble. This is going to be a whole nother arc. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, be annoying about it. Divine treasures. Okay. Is that why you stole the mallet? Ah, uh, he's gonna realize with her? <laughs> I don't care then. Ask him to sneak in and get it, or use his connection. Oh. Yo, he's making so much noise, nobody else hears this. Oh, yeah. Oh. The Demon King attack, right? Is that what that means? Ah! Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm asleep! <laughs> high level, yeah, I'm not high level. I'm just a regular guy. Mid. <laughs> 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 
Aqua. <laughs> She's gonna explode though. Yeah, one stop one from going and get one to go. <laughs> ah, the mind's working now. This guy wants to be an idiot. The epic armor are equipping of of, of his stuff. Yeah, all right, gather the troops. All right, into battle they go. Oh, wow. All right, so that was this week's episode of Konosuba. Um, we found out the thief was uh, Chris. I think I was guessing that last week. Um, and then I changed my mind, I think. But uh, yeah, Chris is the, the thief. Um, She's trying to get a whole bunch of what she calls divine treasures. Uh, Cosmo realizes it's like this, the things people get when they get isekai. So she's getting isekai treasures. Uh, so she, she's doing that and going around. And she's trying to get Cosmo to help her. But he knows if he helps her, it's going to be a whole thing. And more trouble for him and more hijinks and shenanigans he has to go through that he doesn't want to go through. So he's like, nah, I, ain't, I don't do that. But and now it seems like a demon king army is attacking or something's going on. Um, at first he was like, nah, I don't want to do anything with that. But then he's like, hold on. If I play my cards right, we might come out of here with, you know, with some kind of extra, you know, like recognition, reward, anything that's positive for them. So, of course, now that he's thinking of a, he's putting it in a, a non-heroic way, now he wants to go. So, the whole party's going there uh, to face with whatever they're about to get into. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, funny episode as usual. More hijinks. Um, <laughs> something I am noticing this season more uh, with the characters. Aqua's still Aqua, but Megami, her relationship with Cosmo is like they're they seem to be pushing the more romance aspect of it to me. It seems unless I'm forgetting stuff from the previous season, but it seemed like they're always blushing around each other when they talk. Like like I don't know. Maybe that's because. They're the ones that would be most like regular in a, a regular relationship because darkness is the way she is, and uh, uh, I don't think that I think that's more brother sister type. So I guess that's the natural relationship to out of the three. If you wanted to ship people, uh, I don't know, I don't know how old Megami is compared to Kazuma. I think only like a little bit younger, right? But uh, yeah, I've been noticing that more. And then she's like, "Let's go on a date." Well, of course, it was explosion, but she probably would think of that as an actual date, wouldn't she? Like, hey, go watch me do this explosion. And then that part where he was tied up, what she wanted him to say was complimenting her explosion again. So um, there's that. And then also, I've been noticing with Darkness, since I guess they're in this all, all around nobility all this time, and they're embarrassing her, that she's more more um, assertive. And like, oh, yeah, she was also always assertive when Cosmo was doing stuff to her. She would get, like, turned on, but she would also, like, fight back sometimes. But it seemed like she's more, like, like when he was tied up, she was she was force-feeding him stuff and making him say stuff, um, which I don't really remember happening too much before. But this season, I feel like it's happened a couple times where she's been, like, Cosmo, you're embarrassing me. Let me just manhandle you or something. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it all, all good plays out. Either way, it's, it's funny <laughs> the way they, the relationships are. And how they act around each other. So it's not a complaint or anything. It's just something I'm noticing. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with this uh, attack next episode. So until then. <laughs>